Welcome! In this presentation, I will show you how to use Grafulin to monitor your network using NetFlow. So, let's investigate the interface first. We can see that there are no dashboards yet, and there are also no monitored entities yet. Monitored entities are the things that we would like to monitor, for example devices or web pages. Or, in case of NetFlow, the entities are NetFlow exporters, devices like routers and switches that collect NetFlow data and send it to Grafulin server to some port. There are some bots that were installed as part of the default installation procedure, a NetFlow, SNMP and a ping bot. And we can see that they are active because they have connected to Grafulin very recently. There are also some default credentials and sensors, but we can ignore those in case of NetFlow. The first thing that we need to do is to tell NetFlow bot which entities to accept data from. Or, in other words, which NetFlow exporters will be sending us data. We could add an entity manually, but it is easier to just let the bot tell us when it sees the data coming from a new entity, and we can just confirm it then. For this presentation, we will be using a NetFlow simulator. In real-world use, you would want to configure a network device, such as a router, switch or firewall, to start sending NetFlow data to the Grafulin. Since we don't have such device at hand, we will just use a NetFlow simulator. Let's SSH to our server and start the simulator now. We want to send the data to the IP where Grafulin is installed, because this is where the NetFlow bot is listening. The default port where NetFlow bot is listening is UDP port 2055 and we didn't change it when installing Grafulin, so we'll use that setting here. The simulator is now running and we wait a few minutes so that NetFlow bot suggests a new entity. We see that the entity was added. For security reasons, NetFlow bot didn't enable it, which is why there are zero sensors enabled. Let's fix this. At the moment we don't care about ping and SNMP, we just enable NetFlow by selecting default credentials, a bot, which is already selected, and sensor. There are no other settings, this is all it takes to start collecting NetFlow data. So now that the data is being collected, we would like to see it, so let's create a new dashboard. We can name it however we like. Then, we could create an empty dashboard and create all the widgets manually, but there is a predefined dashboard template available for NetFlow, which will prepare everything for us, so let's just select NetFlow here. If you see this screen, don't worry, the data is simply not available yet. It might take a few minutes for both to gather enough data to actually send anything to Grafulin. However, the screen won't refresh by itself, so we need to refresh the page manually. Ok, so the data is here. On the top we see the navigation widget, which allows us to select what kind of data we see. We can take a look at either ingress or egress traffic, which this simulator doesn't support, so the dashboard is empty. Then we can select different aggregation intervals, but the data is not there yet for longer periods. If we had multiple devices sending us natural data, we could select each one of them here and we can also check data for each network interface separately, though in this case simulator only supports a single port. Below we can investigate the data. We can see the traffic per interface for the most recent timestamp or the protocols. We can also see the IPs which consumed most of the bandwidth and the conversations which generated most traffic. And we can see all of this also on the chart below. If we see a peak traffic somewhere in the past, we can investigate by clicking on the chart. All the other widgets will now reflect the data at that point of time, so we can easily see which IP generated the traffic, which protocol was used and similar. I 
hope you found this presentation useful. If you have trouble using Grafulink or would like to see new features added, please open an issue or shoot an email to info at Bye!